Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, um, first of all, shout out to Team Haney on their uh, masterful performance and beating George Kimbosa Jr. not once but twice and having a successful title defense and beating him in his home soil for the second time, back-to-back W's for Team Haney. And I got to say this, and this is just real talking. I know some people going to say, oh, well, you know, you and Bill is from the same place, so of course you're going to say this. No, I'm saying it because it's it's a fair assessment, and it's a legit assessment, and it's just real talk. Bill deserves trainer of the year because, one, um, they had to, like I said, go into enemy territory not once but twice and if you look at it you know Devin Haney has had three fights not within a calendar year but when within a year he's had a fight in December June and October so he's had three fights you know not in a full-fledged calendar year but within a year so he's been active that's more than I could say for a lot of these other guys. That's just that's just real talk. But, you know, Bill did an excellent job in getting Devin prepped for these uh, these two fights. And then based off the adversity that, you know, they went through to make these fights. And then, you know, based off the controversy where basically the Australian government tried to sidetrack Team Haney by throwing a monkey wrench by telling Bill he couldn't enter the country based off something that happened 30 years ago, like in 1992 when Buster Ross was still in leaders of the new school and jump by crisscross was a new record. And the Raiders were still playing in Los Angeles at the time. So that just goes to show you how long ago that was. And it was just absurd and it pissed me off and it pissed a lot of people off because a lot of us thought it was just pure bull but at the end of the day some things happened you know um some things happened and bill was allowed to be alongside his son and pretty much in the nick of time that was (laughs) i mean (laughs) you know bill had to basically get there and get basically next to no rest and basically had to be out there with his son and bill should get a lot of credit for that you know and Devin won that fight decisively the first fight to become undisputed. And then they ran it back. And Devin went back there and whooped Ken Bosa's ass again. This time he beat him up. Okay. And that's real. So you can make an argument that the the second fight was more dominant for Devin than the first fight because This time, Devin did what people accused him of not being able to do, which is duke it out and brawl and bring the fight to Ken Bosa Jr. And Devin did what people said he couldn't do. He brought it to him. He took it to him and he prevailed. He beat him down and he busted him up. This performance was more impressive than the first performance, because keep in mind, they accused him of running but we all know what that means. But I'm trying to figure out how was he running when Devin was picking him apart all night, beat him with ease. And then the second fight, he just beat him down. But like I said, getting back to Bill, uh, I hope Bill gets some trainer of the year consideration because he deserves it. And Devin Haney definitely deserves his spot on the pound for pound list, the mythical pound for pound list. You know, that means a lot to these fighters and they should, you know, and based off the fact that he is a undisputed champion who just had a successful title defense. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.